In this video, I will be creating a provisioning package using Windows Configuration Designer. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page, and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. Also, in the bottom of the page, you can find more of my videos that are related to this topic. For example, here you can find a video about installing Windows Configuration Designer, and there is also videos about Run Once and Active Setup. And that's because I will be using Active Setup and Run Once to execute the installation for Brave Browser. And here you can see the objectives for this provisioning package. The main one is to install the software list that you see here. Then I will be skipping the out of the box experience, creating a user admin without a password. Then I will add admin to administrators group. And also I will skip privacy experience. And privacy experience is this screen right here that we get after creating a user account and then logging in for the first time. And now I will begin this video by downloading all the software executable installation files. I will start with 7-zip, so I will click on the link here. And here I will be using the MSI package and the 64-bit one. So I will click download here, go back, and then let's download Adobe Acrobat Reader. For the operating system, I will select Windows 11. For the language, I will select English. And for the version, I will select the only one that's available and click download. Then let's download Blender. I will click download here and also here. And now let's download Cisco WebEx. Here we want to scroll down a bit and click on visit our down admin download page. So I'll click on it. Here I will click on download the installer and I will be using the non-localized 64-bit version. So I will click this link right here. And the last one is Brave Browser and I will click the link here. That brings us to the Brave Browser GitHub page. And here I will click on the release here because here we can download different types of installation packages and I'm looking for a specific one, this one right here, Brave Browser Standalone Silent Setup, so I will click on it. And this is a silent installation after, out of the box, we don't need any silent switches to execute the installation for this Brave Browser package. And that's it, so now I will go to the downloads folder and it seems that we have all the executables. The last thing that we need is to go back to the GitHub page and download this script right here around PS1. So I'll click on it. And as you can see, it's a simple PowerShell script and I'm using it to set up active setup for Brave Browser installation. Because Brave Browser is a type of software that ins installs under the user account and the installation needs to be executed by the user. And for that, I will be using active setup and run once. So basically this script is setting up active setup for the Brave Browser installation. So to download the package, I mean the script, I will click on the button right here. And it seems now that now we have everything that we need. And we can start creating our provisioning package. And for that, I will go to Windows Configuration Designer, click on File, New Project. I will name the project package and click Next. Next. And here I will select all Windows Desktop Editions, Next and Finish. I will expand the runtime settings. Then I will expand provisioning commands. And then I will expand primary context. Here I will select the command. And here we need to create commands for each uh, software installation. So first package will be 7-zip. So I'll name the package install 7-zip. And I will click Add. Then I will click on install 7-zip here. And here we need to provide the file and the command line arguments for the silent installation. So for the file, I will click browse here, go to my downloads folder, and I will select the 7-zip MSI package here. And then for the silent installation command, I will go back to the GitHub page because here I have all the necessary commands. So I will copy the line from here and then I will paste it here. Now let's create another command this time for Adobe Reader. So I'll name it install Adobe Reader and I will click add. Then I will select the command here, provide the file. And it's this one right here for the silent switch. Let's go to the GitHub page and copy it from here, paste it here. The next one is let me check Blender. So let's call it install Blender. 
click add select the command here then browse for the file it's this one and for the sound switches once again back to the github page copy it and then paste it here the next one is disco webex so i'll call it install disco webex click add select the command here browse for the file yeah, it's this one right here go to the github page and copy the installation command and paste it here and the last one is brave browser and because we are using a script to install that we need to go to device context uh, first let's select command files and let's browse for the files and here we need to select the script that we'll be using for the installation and also the Brave Browser installation executable also. So to do that, I will click on my keyboard control and I will select run PS1 and also I will select the executable for Brave Browser installation. Then I will click open and as you can see, we have the bo both links for the files and I will click add and the files appeared here. Now for the command line, we need to execute the installation script that run once, I mean that run PS1 that will execute, that will set up active setup for executing Brave Browser installation. And for that, once again, let's go to the GitHub page and it's the command right here in the bottom of the page. I will copy it and I will paste it here. And that's basically all that we need to do for the software installation. And now I want to test if the software installation is working for this package. So before configuring all other actions, let's first create a package and then execute this one with only the software installation. So for that, I will go to export provisioning package. I will click next here, next here, next and build. Here I will click on output location. And in this folder, we only care about this file right here, the project name .ppkg. So I will copy the file from here and go to my VMware workstation because here I have a virtual machine that I'm using for testing and I will paste the package into this virtual machine. Then I will execute it. I will click yes here. And here I will click on yes edit. And now the software provisioning should start. So I'll open task manager and let's see if we can uh, see the software installation. And it seems that it's not running. Oh yeah, I found it here. As you can see, Adobe Reader is currently installing. So while the software is currently installing on this virtual machine, we can continue creating our provisioning package. So for that, I will go to configuration designer. And the next, next step is to skip out of the box experience. So let's go here to Ubi and select desktop. And here I will select for height Ubi to true. Then let's go back to the GitHub page. So we performed this step. Now we need to create a local admin account and add it to administrators group. And for that, I have the command here. Basically here we're using net user command that allows us to create a user and also add it to administrators group. And here we have two commands that is in one line. So I'll select both of them and go back to the configuration designer, go back to the commands. And here I will, name the command create user admin then i will click add here i will select the command here and here we only need to provide the command line so i'll paste in the command here then the last step is to disable privacy experience and for that we only need to create a registry key that's called a disable privacy experience with the value one so I'll copy this command, go back to the configuration designer and create another command. And I will name it disable privacy. And that should be enough. So I'll click add, select the command here. And once again, we only need to provide the command line. So I'll paste in the command here. And that's basically all the actions that we need to create for this provisioning package. But before creating the package, let's go back to the virtual machine and see what's going on here. As you can see, we already have the software here. 
it's Adobe Acrobat Reader, Blender and Webex. We are missing 7-Zip and Brave Browser. If I go to Start Menu and More, you can see that we have 7-Zip installed, but it doesn't create a desktop icon right here. If I click on it, it seems to be working just fine. And for the Brave Browser, like I said, the installation needs to be executed by the user and it needs to be executed for each user on the computer if all the user needs to use Brave Browser. And for that, we set up Active Setup and to trigger Active Setup, we need to sign in. So to sign in, I will first sign out from my user account and then I will sign it and it should trigger the Active Setup and the installation for Brave Browser should start. If I go to Task Manager, and look inside of here, we, somewhere here, we should see Brave Browser installation. Well, well, at least I hope to see that. Oh yeah, here it is. So it seems to be installing just fine. Let's wait a bit and see what's going to happen. And it seems that Brave Browser installation was also successful. If I double click on the shortcut on the desktop, it starts successfully. So our software installation part is working just fine. That means that we can continue creating our package. So I will click on export, provisioning package, next, 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 and yes, it will overwrite the, our old package. So I will click build. And here, once again, I will click on output location. We have our new provisioning package. I will right click it, copy it, and then I will go to my USB drive and I will paste the provisioning package into my USB drive. And for testing this provisioning package, I will go back to VMware Workstation. And here I have a second virtual machine that is in the out of the box experience. And I will connect the flash drive to this virtual machine. So I will go to removable devices. I will find my USB drive and I will connect it to the virtual machine. As you can see, the provisioning package was executed and it's now currently installing. So now let's wait and see what's going to happen. And it seems that the provisioning package was executed successfully. We have our software installed here. We don't see the 7-zip, but let's go to the control panel. And let's see if we can see it here. Yeah, as you can see, we have 7-zip, Adobe Reader, Blender, Brave Browser, and Cisco WebEx. So all the software packages were installed successfully. And now let's check our local user accounts to see if we are in the administrator groups. So I will go to file, add or remove snap in. Here I will select local users and groups and click add, finish and OK. I will expand it. Then I will go to groups and go to administrators. And as you can see, we have a user admin that is in administrators group. So everything seems to be working just fine. And that's it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And see you in the next one.